Greetings and welcome to Historic Second Church. My name is Al Wolovich. I'm one of the docents here. And today I have the distinct pleasure of discussing with you what I consider to be the most Tiffany of the Tiffany windows in the church. Now our church is noted for having nine large windows by the Tiffany Studios. This, by the way, I would call the baby of the windows coming in here in 1918. Our earliest came in here, or at least was designed in the 1890s. And by this time, Tiffany's style had been changing. New looks were coming in, and a very different look is definitely here in the window. This window was designed specifically for the church. It was commissioned by the widow of Charles D. Ettinger. Mr. Ettinger had died, and Mrs. Ettinger decided she wanted to have a window for her husband. She went to the big name in windows at that time, Tiffany, and she decided to go with a window that might have been a little shocking at that time. You walk into the church now and you will see the Tiffany windows. We have a St. Paul, we have St. John the Baptist, we have angels, we have Christ. We have nobody here. We have a pastoral window, which is a look that by 1918, when the window was being done, this is a look that was very commonly coming into churches. We weren't necessarily being overtly religious. We were creating this calm and wonderful presence. Now the window is not designed by Louis Comfort Tiffany. It's designed by a woman named Agnes Northrup. And I should point out that Tiffany did not design any of his windows. He had people who designed them. Now we know that Northrup did it because there's lots of documentation of her work. And also one feature of Northrup was always quite interesting is she did pastorals, she did not do figures. There are some windows that become pastiches of her and another designer. There will be someone who does the angel, she does the background. In this case, it is all background and it's thoroughly wonderful. One of my favorite features of the window is that it was designed specifically for the church. The interior is still Gothic, arts and crafts period Gothic. And here we have this wonderful framing and we have this delightful quatrefoil at the very top, the window designed specifically to accommodate all that wonderful woodwork. There are three windows in the church, all of which were done for the church, that have the same thing going on. Other windows, not so much. Now, you look at the window going, okay, it's a nice peaceful scene, and it truly is that. But the one thing I feel about the window is it shows most of the techniques that were coming out of the Tiffany Studios. Now I should back up for a moment. Agnes Northrup did the design. She did not do the fabrication. There would have been people in the Tiffany Studios who did that work for her. So she gave them a watercolor, the design that obviously Mrs. Edinger approved of. It came into the church. And they then began trying to match up the kinds of glass that they would have to get the effect that she had created in her watercolor. One of the techniques that comes out in Tiffany, especially in a pastoral like this is the color is in the glass. When you are dealing with a figure, a saint, an angel, a Christ, you end up with pigment. You have to have faces done, hands done, feet done, features that could not be done in the glass itself. Here, pigmentless, everything is in the glass itself, which may be amazing to you as you look at it and see all this texture, all the effects in it. And one of the things that happens with this window is we not only see the different kinds of glass, we see confetti glass for some of the floral effect, we see ripple glass, we see what we sometimes call blob glass, glass of that sort. But then also here we see another trick that Tiffany's studio used, which was plating. We have multiple layers of glass. Now, normally you cannot go up to a Tiffany window and see it up close. You go to a church, it's high on the wall, here with us, it's right by the balcony. You go to a museum, it's away from you. Here you can come up, get your nose up against a Tiffany and see one, some of the tricks that were being played by the studio. One of them here is to get the overall effect that they wanted. Now for instance, here we have some flowers and what we call this sort of blobby glass that comes in here, dropping chemicals or glass to create a little bit of texture. And you may wonder about what's happening here. Well, we actually have multiple layers of glass. In fact, while the picture may not show it clearly, I think we will have a clip later on, you can see a bit of caming running here. I can't touch it. It's in the lower layer of the glass. Here on the upper layer, we have this. So we have 
texture and tone coming through this. I'm going to try a little trick for a moment with a light feature here. And when you hit the glass, this layer is kind of whitish and blue with swirling effect. You take the light away, suddenly it becomes very blue-green. You have the other glass coming through. And Tiffany windows can sometimes have this effect where you'll hit a section and suddenly it totally changes. So you didn't necessarily have the effect with one layer of glass. And it said that some Tiffany windows could be six, seven layers of glass to get the full effect that they wanted in terms of the color and the effect. Now, the window, what's it depicting? Basically a wonderful scene. We have a small river or stream running down, beautiful texture coming out of all of that, coming into this sort of ocean effect or lake. We have the mountains or the hills in the background. And if you look carefully, you'll see a very beautiful, in the whitish section, bluish hill. That's in a lower layer. So it becomes very muted, very pastel. And then of course we have the leaves and the flowers. Now I have often joked with friends, there is another place in Chicago that has a number of Tiffany windows in mausoleum chapels, many of them. Many of them in this general idea, being wonderful landscapes. And my one joke is, you can spot a Tiffany, I was at 30 feet. There is a very distinctive look to them. In this case, we have these beautiful irises being depicted here, the color, the intensity, all of it being beautifully done. Now, the window, as you look at it, seems very plain. This is a north-facing window, does not have intense sunlight coming through it. And the idea here is to have this softness to it. The idea of the pastel that Agnes Northrup would have done in her window and in her design for the window. Now, oh, one thing about this window that's always a great fun story is until last year, in 2019, this was the only Tiffany we could truly say is a Tiffany, because we could show the signature. After restoration was done with one of our other windows, the Peace window, they found the signature in the dirt. This one has always been here in the lower section of the window.